Woo! Despite my channel being a family-friendly channel with content suitable for all ages, this Let's Play series of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective has been rated T for Teen due to it featuring mild language and mild violence. So viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Good morning, everybody! <laughs> Welcome <laughs> back to Ghost Good Trick morning. Phantom Detective. We are continuing the game now. I think we're on Chapter 6. We're going back to the Chicken Kitchen meme. Da -da -da. But before we continue... One thing I want to ask, uh, Marty. Oh. Oh, we're on chapter seven. Uh, who is your favorite character you've encountered thus far? Because we've, thus far. we've actually met almost all the characters. Ha! <laughs> thus far, I think my favorite character, just because it's hilarious every time I see them, it makes me happy, is the weird lady who writes about the story. <laughs> oh, my prime minister. I like, she's by far... I think her, like, official name is, like, Darlene or something. <laughs> or, I don't know. That would be her name. Like, not her actual <laughs> name, just, like, that's what she's called. I also like, um, Missile. Missile's great. Missile's amazing. I like, um, the uh, Inspector Cominella <laughs> dancing around. Howdy! I think he's cool. How about Bailey? Bailey? He was also funny. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, well, we'll, we'll continue. How about, <laughs> I just wanted your advice on that. Advice. Sure. I wanted your opinion. Yeah. It's cool. 10.05 p.m. I just can't get the images I saw at the police headquarters out of my head. The person who shot me tonight is the last person in the world I want to believe did it. He didn't shoot him. There's no way. Now I'm here at the police... Uh, the police. <laughs> now I'm here at the place she and I agreed to meet. The restaurant the police were staking out is Point X. But when I got there, I found the place in ruins. Okay, well... Some Whoa! Yeah, they're not kidding. Whoa. What in the world happened here? Someone drove their car through it. Trick time. Oh, the heavens! <laughs> what do I do if I had known something like this would happen? He's so happy. I would have paid the poor child more. I would have cooked more chicken for her. I would have sung to her as much as she liked until she'd had her fill. Actually, about the scening, she did tell me she'd had her fill a time or two. The chef seems to be in quite a panic. Yeah, can you blame him? <laughs> anyway, at least it doesn't look like the waitress is dead. Yeah, wow. Chef's hat? Because remember, at the police headquarters, they were like, Hey, you're the guy who staked out the place. Uh, like, what do you have to report? And, like, they heard him crash somewhere. Apparently, he crashed into the restaurant. Bad driving. A really bad. That's like gumshoe bad driving. <laughs> he only crashed into a telephone pole, not even In, a, yeah. a, a Chick-fil-A. Yeah. <laughs> According to that police radio conversation I heard, Lynn should be here. But I don't see her anywhere. It seems like bad luck has it in for that redhead. So I was half expecting to see her in trouble again. I spotted the corpse of the van driver. Oh wait, I was gonna roll it. Whoosh. I love how you can possess the chef's hat. Yeah, I think it's cool. Oh, boy. Well, that's fun. Look at me! I'm dead! What took you so long? Well, that's one way to greet a guy. What happened here? Hey, how should I know? I'm the victim. Is it just my imagination, or is she getting more and more brazen every time she dies? Oh, that's because I'm a detective. I have to be tough, you know? Well, and how did it go? Did you check out tomorrow's work schedule for Prisoner D99? Yeah, just like I promised. Actually, I have a few things I want to ask you about, too. Sure, we agreed to use each other after all, right? Okay, let's swap info then. My murderer. Uh, please don't do these out of order! Is Can it important to not do them in the- okay. In the future, you might not be able to get all the dialogue, or it might be really weird where like, it references okay. things that you haven't heard yet. Okay. Just like you said, each prisoner had a little uh, blackboard in his cell. But the thing is, there wasn't anything written on Prisoner D99's blackboard. It was blank. What? I guess maybe that means his schedule for tomorrow hasn't been decided yet? Blank? Blank? No! Huh? I didn't think she'd lose it over a blank blackboard. How come you're so upset about an undecided work schedule? I get the feeling that back when I was alive, I never had much of a schedule to worry about myself. Do you know what it means when a prisoner doesn't have a schedule for the next day? Huh? It means something? It doesn't mean he doesn't have work to do, it's more like he 
can't work. And that's because he's going to be executed. Executed? Okay. Okay, that one we can do out of order. It's fine. All right. Back to the murder. <laughs> on my way here, I stopped by the chief of police's office. Oh, it was just on your way, was it? And while I was there, I saw who did it. I saw my murderer. You saw him? Where? How? Not him. Her. There was a security camera set up at the junkyard where I got shot. The security tape showed the person who shot me. It was you. No way. You're kidding, right? What do you have to say for yourself, detective? It wasn't me! I didn't shoot you! If I recall, this is what you said about who shot me. My memory just isn't clear on that part. So how can you say for sure if it wasn't you? Be because I told you before. You were supposed to give me some information. Information, huh? Maybe that information was the reason you shot me. Wh what do you mean? You said you had information on the case I'm looking into. So I would hardly shoot you before I ever heard the information, right? I agree. That wouldn't make sense. If it was before. Huh? But what if it was after you'd already gotten the information from me? I definitely told you something then. And whatever it was, it really shocked you. What did I tell you? I don't remember. I don't know! You, you've you got to believe me! After you saved me, I thought I got all my memories back. But maybe I really didn't. You told me something?! I can't remember that part at all! You got the information you wanted from me, and then you shot me. Isn't that what happened? No! No! I didn't shoot you! Please tell me. What did you tell me that time? What did I learn from you? Well, okay. Let's go back to that. Do you know what Prisoner D-99's crime was? I think so. They said something about him murdering his wife right in front of a family member. That's what they say, but it's not true. He would never! Detective Zhao... Joe? Zhao... Zhao would never do some of it, anything like that. And the death penalty hadn't been enforced in this country for a very long time. Not for decades. Even if the prisoner wants it, like in this case. The prisoner wants it? There's definitely something else going on with this case. I just know it. And I have to find out what. And if his work schedule is blank for tomorrow, I have to do it right now. So this prisoner D-99, Detective Zhao, he must be connected to me in some way too. After all, he obviously knows me. Point X. The police are staking this restaurant out tonight. They called it Point X. Point X, huh? That's a good name for this place. That white-suited inspector was surprised to find out you just casually waltzed in here. Inspector Cabanella? What in the world made you pick this place anyway? I guess I'd have to say because of you. Me? Huh? Remember back in, like, chapter one? She took something out of oh, my yeah. pocket. Do you remember that note I found? Yeah, I remember. The note I didn't get a chance to read. It had a place and a time written on it. The chicken kitchen. Ten o'clock. In other words... I was supposed to meet somebody here tonight? Apparently so. Hmm. I'm wondering what that would mean, then. Because clearly they were planning something like point X. Oh, so and so might be coming there. <laughs> Maybe he just likes Chick Fil A. He was going on a date. He no. wanted to impress. So of course no, he picked Chick Fil A. No, it has to do with whatever the heck the government. <laughs> Stupid guy. Yeah. What is he doing there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that are guy. you trying to do the police? Chief? Not the police, the chief. police chief. The detective chief. Yeah. The detective chief. Yeah. 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 I'm thinking it has something to do with that then. Maybe he's, he may, it could be he's like the bad guy, and then he's like, but I'm a good guy in death. Now that I'm dead. Now that Interesting. I'm dead. Interesting. It could be. It'd be like, 
<laughs> There's an anime I watch that's kind of like that, I just realized. Where someone dies and is not- No, it's where the devil himself comes to Earth and learns that he has to, like, learn how to live on the Earth and not be, like, the king of the world, and so he starts working at McDonald's. Oh, I've heard- You've heard I've of I've heard it? Link talk about this. It's- it's really funny, actually, because he turned like, he's like, oh, actually, I kind of like being nice. I get money. Like, oh, I like doing this thing. I can, like, pay See, off my debts. <laughs> uh, I think I don't like the idea of people portraying the devil as anything other than like, I know. the pure well, evil and, monstrosity and he is. there are definitely characters in the show that are like, no, he's the devil. It's bad. No. But... It, it the is whole thing better be like, oh, he, it's just it an is, elaborate ploy by the devil to try to, like, it trick is, people. It is super elaborate. It's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, I just had to get that information you were going to give me. Oh, so that was the information that she was going to get? Okay. Maybe. That's why I came here. It was the only lead I had left. And this here is point X. So that must mean the mark the police were waiting for was me? So, what are you going to do now? I mean, you fulfilled your goal, right? You found out who shot you. Are you going to get revenge? That would be easy enough to do. All you have to do is not save me. Is this the ending I was hoping for? Had I unraveled all of the mysteries of me? What am I going to do now? I'm going to save you, that's what. You are? I want to know everything. Who I was, why I was killed. And I'd like to know who those guys are, too. I want answers, and I'm gonna find them. But to do that, I'm gonna need your help. Okay. I won't say thank you. Not yet. And I won't say I'm sorry, either. But I'll see to it that I, you get your answers. Good. Now I think it's time to go back to the past. I can't leave you lying flattened under a huge chunk of chicken forever, after all. <sighs> this is definitely- if there's a car crash happening, this is going to be extremely elaborate. Four minutes before death, in the Actually, chicken kitchen. I already PM. have an idea of what might happen, and what we might have to do. Okay, please, explain. There was a call going on to the car before it crashed. We're gonna have to figure out how to actually prevent the car from crashing into the chicken kitchen. That's oh, good happen. idea. Okay. The note said the chicken kitchen at 10 o'clock. I wonder who that pointy-haired man was, er, was, was going to meet me here. Who he was going to meet? What's this? There's color everywhere. <laughs> oh, waitress. The waitress is wearing a chicken hat. On roller skates. She's and on she's roller skates, the, the chicken hat isn't. Yeah. Here you go! <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what the heck she sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No, this can work. Because <laughs> remember, uh, once I, I, I see her up close. I didn't approve of your eeny miny voice to begin with, and now I it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> In hindsight. Where's my chicken? Yeah, come on, Chick-fil-A, you're fast food. I just had chicken tonight and it was like So did best. I. It was great. <laughs> can I eat that thing? <laughs> <laughs> this is not gonna end well, is it? Dang, oh my Lynn. gosh! Double backflip. Also, the van turned the entire sky pitch black. That was interesting. Whew, Whew. Thank goodness, that's over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Would that be a painful or painless death, do you think? Painful. You're just gonna get- uh, Unless you died immediately. Maybe. If you, I don't know. If you die before your I wouldn't nerves know. can register- I wouldn't know. Yeah, obviously nobody could say for yeah. sure. You're just going bigger and better with each new death, aren't you? Leave me alone. Can I help it if I've got tired of dying the usual ways? But I'll say this, it was a death any detective could be proud of. Huh? What makes you say that? The way you saved somebody else before dying yourself. Oh, that waitress? The one with the chicken on her head? The next time you put a chicken on your head, you should try one about the size of the waitresses. I'll make a note of that for next time. But anyway, if you hadn't tried to save that waitress, you'd still be alive. I couldn't help it, you know, the detective thing and all. I wasn't able to save that poor van driver, though. At that speed, he must have died instantly. Well, we can't let a heroic detective like you stay dead. The root of this whole disaster is clear. 
The only Here's question shit. is, how do I stop it? Okay, let's get started. You ready, Marty? Trick time! Yeah, remember, the dialogue options we've already seen. And then the corpse disappeared. <laughs> Let me see her profile. Oh, yes. You rang? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't ring the bell. Okay, I get it. This was a little dig, wasn't it? Kind of like, hey, where's my food, right? N no, not at all. Besides, I didn't ring it. Okay, that's all right then. But the chef is one who makes the chicken. No sense in harassing me about it, right? Just keep that in mind, Kay. <laughs> Odd girl. I agree. Me too. <laughs> I could examine. It's no use. I can't read what it says. Let's see. Oh, hey. Now I remember what that sign says. If you would like some water, please ring the bell three times. Three times? Yeah, the waitress doesn't bring any water if you only ring the bell once. She said those were the rules, apparently. I said apparently? What do you mean apparently? Don't you work here? Quite a stickler for the details, this detective. Which, what's this? The note. Oh, we can't examine that. Well, Let's we want times. water! <laughs> Let's ring it three times. Marty proceeds to ring it once. <laughs> I was trying to ring it three times. You weren't pushing very rapidly. You rang! <laughs> <laughs> you saw she didn't push the bell! <laughs> Alright! Maybe you should put less grease on the button of the bell. <laughs> it seems to be sliding down. Girl. I agree! <laughs> Me too! <laughs> Marty! I get it! I couldn't get it! So you just don't move the mouse once you put it on the button! <laughs> it's not that hard! You rang! I'm just gonna wait for her to leave. <laughs> this poor waitress. Hot girl. <laughs> it's, it's not her fault she has to wear roller skates. There we go. Dang, she got that water fast! Holy cow! It's because of the roller skates. <laughs> I like to imagine she's doing a very sarcastic bow. You want more water? Uh huh? Oh, sorry, I didn't ring the bell. And what's with the more water bit? Oh well, come on, this is your third glass. Oh, okay, I get it. This was a little dig, wasn't it? Kind of like a, hey, where's my food, right? N not at all. Besides, I didn't ring it. But I would like to see you bring my chicken soon. Duly noted. In the meantime, enjoy a, last, a nice glass of water. <laughs> a last glass of water before I kill you. Oh, oh. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. Don't I, take your hand off the mouse. I I'm agree. So <laughs> <laughs> there. Hmm. What's taking my chicken so long? Unfortunately for you, according to what we saw before, the van arrives before your chicken does. In any case, just hanging around here isn't going to fix it. I already it. know I'm going to have to go back. It's fine. I'll have to look for a way to get beyond this area. <laughs> Lynn's just, like, playing on her... Oh, no, that's the note, not her phone. <laughs> I like the way she's just doing a very, like... Very forced, sarcastic bow, like... Ugh, you want your water? Yeah, master, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> She's like, I'm trying to take the chicken up the elevator. Holy cow, this Chick-fil-A has an elevator. Trick time. Go on that cart. Whatever. <laughs> Lynn rings the bell three times. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> oh, blue people. Trick time. Look, Zero! Move. Search lights! I can't move. <laughs> the trunk. Here you go! This is one big trunk. It seems pretty heavy, too. It's very suspicious and red. Hey, let's see what it's in it. Sorry, but that's not possible. It's locked. Darn, I wanted to see what was inside. Here you go. <laughs> I'm gonna have to move. I can't move. Uh, uh, just stay what? there for a little bit, I okay. guess. Whatever. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> so what do you think, my dear beauty? Do you really think we could trust this deal? 
no, it's not our job to think about that. What is up with her hairdo? How do you make your hair do that? <laughs> They're aliens, clearly. <laughs> But those incidents did happen in this country, just as he predicted. This, this is the <laughs> best <laughs> voice for beauty ever. <laughs> yes, and they were pretty amusing too, weren't they? <laughs> that fellow who sang out the national secrets during a live TV broadcast. And that man who s lay siege to the Metro Police Department, taking the top dog hostage. But what if he double crosses us? It wouldn't be pretty. No, no, he needs this deal too. And we've accepted all of his conditions as well. Yes, and thanks to that, we have a, to be here on this extra little assignment. But as long as I paired up with you, Beauty, I don't mind. How do these two... How do they know about the cases at the special prison? Special prison? The guys who sang the national secrets, the man who held siege to the Metro Police, those cases are classified information. Hmm, I've heard about both of those cases, and recently too. The, pe the perpetrators in the cases- Perpetrators. Perpetrators! In those cases are being held at the special facility. That's what the special prison is, but it's not known about by the general public. So, Prisoner D-99, Detective Jowd, is one of those special cases too, huh? These two are talking about the very same cases I heard about just tonight. That couldn't be just coincidence, could it? New info has been added. Hmm. What is it, Beauty? Why don't we move to a different spot? <laughs> the, the, the bartender's like, gee, thanks! <laughs> that table in the back looks good. Dang! Chick-fil-A is really up in its elegance. Yeah. Holy cow. <gasps> now you're talking, Beauty, my dear. Just what I've been waiting for. A quiet, secluded spot, just the two of us. I wouldn't object to that. All of a sudden, I get this feeling somebody is eavesdropping. My sixth sense is very strong, you know. Like the bartender? <laughs> the bartender's hearing everything. That's all right, my dear. You don't have to make excuses. Off we go across the bridge of poultry to the land of love. We can't do anything. No! Look how tall she is. We're not on the chicken, though. No, we're not. I'm not sure if we could possess the chicken. We couldn't. What just happened? Did she sense we were here? What? With her sixth sense? <laughs> but, you know, I have some pretty amazing powers myself. Yeah? Like what? Like... Like if there's chicken nearby, I can tell right away! That's called a sense of smell. But anyway, at least the situation has changed a little bit now. Fate changed. Wow, that gave us more time? I don't believe in a sixth sense. It's not scientific. Says the ghost. But, come to think of it, we've been left behind, haven't we? It looks that way. Not having legs is even more inconvenient than I thought it would be. But what are we going to do now? They're all the way over there! I'm telling you, we'd better shake a leg or we're going to miss what they're saying! It'd be pretty hard to shake a leg not having legs and all. Oh, beauty, I love you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> They're still talking maybe. about something. I want to hear. Me too. So here's the vein. It's never actually stated. It's not stated whether uh, the guy, by the way, the guy's a tentative name, I think, is Dandy. Okay. It's beauty and Dandy. It's not actually... Uh, it's not confirmed if they're actually, like, dating or not. So, either he's just a total creeper who's making unwanted passes at her, or, the, like, she's just like, Stop being lovey-dovey in public. <laughs> I don't notice anything. <laughs> so, I was wondering. We're not stuck over here by any chance, are we? Uh, we just might be. Okay, well, I have two thoughts. Number one, if we want to get over to where those two are, we have to use this red trunk they forgot somehow. Sounds about right. What's your other thought? It doesn't look like this blue-haired bartender is going to be much help. So I guess we have to find somebody who can help, then. <laughs> the blue bartender's just like, do, 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 I'm just doing the thing. <laughs> Wait, but no, but we wanted water. <laughs> it wouldn't let us get water. <laughs> Ch 
trick time. <laughs> you rang? Oh, I get it. You saw that couple over there and you started to get lonely, right? And so you decided to call me. Oh, that's so sweet. So give, uh, wait, uh, I never thought about what voice to give this guy. <laughs> He's a combination of Long Kue, or Long Ku, and, um, the tea guy from Harvest Moon. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> um, let's <laughs> really think about that. Uh, forgive me. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't ring for anybody. What? Now, could you not stand in my light, please? I can't see my glass properly. I've been working here for two days, and you've wanted, been wanting this whole time for you, I've been waiting this whole time for you to notice me. Now, would you stop trying to shake me up and just stick to shaking cocktails? No! You can't leave! <laughs> just, <laughs> my heart. She has a surprisingly short career with this place. Hey, everyone has to start somewhere. She's doing better on her second day than most people. Get back here. <laughs> She's like, suck. You suck. Trick time. Oh, you may have knocked the glass over prematurely. Oh, wait, no, a new one spawned. Oh, definitely pour into that. Bottle dispenser. He put a new glass down. He's like, I don't know where the other one went. I'll just make a new one. Oh, you just broke that glass. Just like you did my heart. A broken glass that can never be put back the way it was. Just leave it there. You can't just leave it. Somebody might get hurt. Doesn't this trunk belong to that couple over there? The only thing we allow customers to lose here are their cares. Miss, please go and let them know about the trunk, if you would be so kind. How gallant of you. I just might fall for you, you know. New info has been added. Oh yeah, let's actually look at all the info that we got. First, possess the trunk before you forget. Ah, uh, the girl. I agree. Me too. <laughs> Trick time. More like trunk time. Oh, I'll wait for him to put out a new glass, maybe? Or try to go from the dispenser. Yeah, wait for him to put out a new glass. Come on, it's put shiny. it out! It's shiny! New one. Alright, me, the mystery! Yeah, this is always getting updated. Because, you know, I'm Sissel and I don't know anything about me and I'm just gradually remembering stuff as I go on. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, the faded jailbird. Prisoner D99, he uh, he's he was killed his wife. Me. Yeah, he was painted me in this cell. <laughs> Itchy man. <laughs> Cute chicken carrier, a woman who serves chicken, who serves food and water with a smile at the restaurant, the chicken kitchen. Apparently this is only her second day working here, but she's already looking for romance. She looks like she hopped out of, um, what is it, Final Fantasy Tactics with her hair. If you made her into like a rabbit. The Viera class? Yeah. Except all Viera have white hair, so oh. that doesn't work. Oh. The black-hearted blue man. One half of the couple at the restaurant, the chicken kitchen. He and his accomplice seem to be waiting there for the other party in their deal. Black-hearted blue woman. One half of the couple at the restaurant, the chicken kitchen. She and her tiny accomplice are apparently waiting there for the other party in the deal. It seems her name is Beauty. Beauty and Dandy. The, <laughs> the fastidious glass polisher. A composed bartender at the restaurant, the chicken kitchen, who continuously polishes glasses. It seems he doesn't notice anything besides the glass in his hand. Or does he? Well, goodbye. I've been working here for two days, and I've had my eye on you the whole time. I think this might be the last night working here, though. It's been fun. I guess she's leaving this place with her surprisingly short career intact. Um, we're on we're on the case. We're on the trunk. Here he comes. Oh, of all the things to forget, it wouldn't have been pretty if I forgot this. <laughs> um, <laughs> you packing you packing workout equipment in there like barbells, dude? Yeah, clearly the deal that they were making was to get in the to exercise sell gym program. Equipment. No, to get in the exercise program <laughs> at their gym. Like they're waiting. That's for all the that Cecil wanted. They're waiting for the sale period <laughs> so that they could get like ten months free. And they're like, "Thank you for coming on such short notice to the chicken." <laughs> Who is this Owen Wilson? Wants it? Thank you for coming, coming to the chicken. Apparently, bitch. I just <laughs> jump into an Owen Wilson voice. I don't know why. Of Here we course. are, finally. I feel kind of bad about eavesdropping, though. Not me. I mean, we just delivered their lost trunk to them, after all. They owe us at least that much. 
What kind of detective says something like that? Fate changed. Uh, let's see what we can possess. Oh. The flower face. The light. Oh, we can swing the light. <laughs> this is completely normal. I can't believe I forgot the trunk of all things. With such a small body, you probably only have a small brain to match. Ouch! That hurts, beauty. But that's okay. That's what I love about you. That's what he loves about her? I don't get it either. Now, where were we? Oh, right. Who to invite to the wedding? If we got married, that is. Of course. We can talk about that when we're alone. Hmm, but aren't we alone now, beauty? Huh? Do you think she senses our presence again? I spy a ladybug. A ladybug? I just hate little bugs. Um. Okay. Well, that happened. What? After all that trouble, it happened anyway? It, it looks that way, yes. It's not over yet, though. It's not? What are you talking about? You're not dead yet. N no, but I'm going to be in just a few seconds. But before that happens, maybe there's something we can do from here. <laughs> They're hiding under the table. That's great. That's great. <laughs> Trick time. You're going to want to stay on the chandelier. Yeah. Oh, I bet you're just out of reach. Dang it. Yeah, you, you jumped the gun on that one. Uh, can I go... Should I go back in time? After the fate change, yeah. I think that still means we have to call them over to get their trunk, though. Whatever. Blay. Oh, no! Oh, hey! Was there another fate change and I just didn't realize it? Not yet. <laughs> I love talking to you, lady. <laughs> I think we should have Chick-fil-A cater our wedding if we got married. I that is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I agree. Mm. I can't believe I forgot the... <laughs> Wait, it, it, what was the point of that? It forces you to see it's that. Such a small body. That's what he loves? <laughs> <laughs> I love small bodies. <laughs> 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 Maybe she just has a... Like, a little cat at home or something. Mm, we can talk about that when we're alone. <laughs> I spy a chicken. I just hate chicken. <laughs> You're at Chick-fil-A! <laughs> That's kind of a problem. <laughs> we went to the chicken kitchen. I hate chicken. <laughs> Leave us a zero-star review on Yelp. <laughs> it's like, I hate these people. <laughs> After all the trouble that happened. Yeah, apparently there are people, dumb people who leave negative Yelp reviews just because they knew they weren't going to like the place. It's like, I went to Panda Express and like I got Chinese food. I hate Chinese food. Zero stars. Uh, you might have jumped the gun again. Oh, no, you didn't. Okay. Chicken bone. Chicken bone. Bone, chicken bone, bone. <laughs> Gonna have to wait for it to fall a little more. <laughs> Possess the spirit of Driving Man. Driving Man, that's his name. Hello? Looks like he's unconscious. Excuse me, could we wake you up for a sec, please? Pushy as ever, this detective. One thing I've learned is that the newly dead stay unconscious for a little while at first. Huh? I was like that, and you were like that, too. Oh yeah, I guess you were right. Anyway, if we restart the flow of time now, you'll die. Yeah, I know. Why don't we try going back even further in time? What? Even further? But how? Simple. We go back four minutes before the death of this poor driver here. You can do that? I never tried it before, so I don't know if how it'll go, but if we can erase the driver's death, that should erase your death, too. Oh, wow. I can't think of any other way. Let's try it. Okay. This is where- we're, That's what I thought it would be. This we is where to... it kind of starts getting a bit more convoluted. That's fine. The game in general. 
Four minutes before death, Temzik Park. Everybody loves the park! Everybody loves the park! What the? <gasps> what is that from? I'm the guy who's the park guardian! Yeah, what That's the that? song I like to sing! Everybody is that from loves something? the park! Is that... No, oh. I'm just making it up. It sounded like it was, like, I don't know, like a year from Frog and Toad or something. No, they no. go to the park in that. Toad looks funny in a bathing suit! <laughs> Weekly doesn't say that. That's Lynn, our rookie detective. What's she doing at Point X? Could it be just a coincidence? And if uh, we just got an APB on her a little while ago, something about an extremely important case's extremely important risk, uh, witness currently extremely on the run. Now what? Should I report this to Inspector Cabanella? They told us to stay off the radio unless it was an emergency. I think I'd better call this in. Poor Lynn, I wonder what she did this time. Inspector Cabanello is pretty protective when it comes to Lynn. He'd want to know. What's the matter? Alright, fine. We'll hook up. Mm, mm, look, his fedora is kind of cool. Well, not fedora, a uh, newsman's cap or whatever it is. Beret. Yeah. It's not quite a beret. It's like a newsboy's cap or something. This is point X! Idiot! Yes, sir! I'll go get her! The static is awful! I can't believe I forgot the trunk of all fiends. It was a small body. Or it was... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I beauty, you were... your voice changed <laughs> I thought... a bit. I thought you were still talking. With such a small body, you probably only have a small brain to match. Ouch, that hurts beauty. But that's okay. That's what I love about you. What the heck is this? <laughs> <laughs> I spy a ladybug. A ladybug? I just hate little bugs. I can't hear very well. Don't drive distracted. What? And then that's why he drove into the... Huh? Do you know why that happened? Because the static... Did he electric... Did it, like, fry his brain? So, basically what happened, so... Well... Never mind, that would kind of spoil stuff. Come on! <laughs> well, well, we're gonna... We'll find out. <laughs> wow, the van driver was a detective. It looks like it. I noticed something, though. That conversation he was listening to before the crash. I remember hearing it before. You're right. We just heard it a few minutes ago, didn't we? Oh, maybe the weird alien lady, like, possessed the radio and was like... <laughs> what? <laughs> and then, like... <laughs> no, she... She, she already... wasn't near the radio. <laughs> she was no, in chick no, But <laughs> So she was like, oh, we're... Like, this guy clearly could hear her conversation, so maybe she's like, mm, we're not alone. I hate little bugs. And then was like... Like... And then, and then she sprayed magic dust! <laughs> <laughs> no! No, but it would have been like, maybe she caused the signal to abruptly cut, and then like, she has telekinetic powers, clearly. Maybe she like, fried his brain. Maybe she knocked him out. <laughs> How is it you can call the actual plot twists, and then occasionally it's like, oh no, this is completely out of <laughs> Just after that conversation, the detective suddenly passed out. I don't have the What best happened, I wonder? We already know the answer. We saw what happened at the restaurant. She started smoking. She burned up the ladybug. Sometimes when a high-tech bug like that is destroyed, it emits a, emits a loud signal. Loud enough to knock a person out if they were listening to it through headphones. Really? So that's why the detective was passed out, huh? Bingo! Now let's stop it from happening! Oh, Lynn, thank you for explaining it for me. I was like, wait. Yeah, so there's a, there was a bugging device apparently on the chicken that the guy was listening to, and she burned it up, which... How would he get it on the chicken? Well, maybe we'll find out. Hey, this place. This is the place that the white-suited inspector phoned tonight. This is the parking lot of the park on the east side of town. It's been years. You know this park? Yeah, I used to play here a lot when I was little. But then one day, I swore I'd never set foot in this park ever again. Whoa, those are some really deep, dark feelings there. 
I wonder what happened. Maybe her parents died there. Hold it! Don't give me that a ghost doesn't have a foot to set bit. It just has a, it's just a finger of speech. What kind of a nitpicker do you think I am? Anyway, whatever. Let's get started. Okay, let's do that. I won't press her about that other thing right now. <laughs> what the? <laughs> dead person? Oh, well, dead person. Well, how about we recline your seat? <laughs> you look dead, son. Let me give you a massage. <laughs> Let's turn on the lights. It doesn't look like the detective is going to come. Might as well turn it off. It's pretty loud. Oh, what are we supposed to do? Well, when in doubt, we can wait. Are you gonna, like, smack him in the face of the chair? <laughs> No. Ooh, oh, he threw his binoculars in the back. Which we can do nothing with. <laughs> they told us to stay off the radio unless it was an emergency. Oh, poor Lynn. <laughs> Mind your own business. I like to do things my own way. Spectre Cabanel is pretty protective when it comes to Lynn. <laughs> uh, but now try flashing the light. Duh. about we go hang out? Aw, oh, dang it. It's too far away. We just checked that. Howdy, partner. I think we already screwed up. Dang it. I don't know what else we're supposed to do. I'm pretty sure we, we, we need to the shine. The, I think we need to flash the light before he tosses the binoculars. So that way we can follow the binoculars to the phone. Oh. Okay, let's... Guess I better rewind back from the beginning. Cha-ching. It would be kind of cool if they made it so there were more than one way to stop someone's death. Yeah, I thought that'd be cool too. Alright, so you're on the- get on the light. Get on the light. Get on the light! <laughs> I'm going to! Yeah, this- he's <laughs> going to toss the freaking binoculars! <laughs> Wait for him to start walking, and then trick him out. Trick it. There we go. You moron! <laughs> what? I guess that's not you, him. Sorry. Yeah, I gotta get there. Maybe he'll pick up his binoculars? <laughs> Darn you! <laughs> I'm, a I'm a green unit. <laughs> Turn on the light. It's like phone light. Phone light. <laughs> Doesn't look like, like the detective's gonna come. Darn it. What are we supposed to do? I thought that's what you had to do. I think you, you reclined the dumb. Oh, maybe. Oh, oh, wait. Yeah, you reclined the chair before he tossed the binoculars. If you don't recline the. Maybe something else will happen. Oh okay. no, raise the seat now. Raise the seat now. now Absolutely nothing Now happened. recline it, now recline it. Maybe it'll like knock the binoculars. Oh, oh, there we go. Who is the detective talking to? Don't keep yelling at me about these things. But they might be talking about something ridiculously important. That's true, but still. It might be the person who really shot you. Now you're just throwing things out there. But in any case, it looks like it's too late to get to the phone now. Darn, I think we missed our chance. What the heck? No, 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 okay, it's fine. Follow him in the car. <laughs> when he is actually like, yeah, so <laughs> stay on the seat. Because now he's going to actually drive the car and we can do stuff while he's driving the car. Okay. Walk back, dude. You have the slowest walk animation. Did it it dirt. This stuff in the trunk. Stuff in the trunk. This is Point X. Come in, Chief. The Chief here. Did he show up? Oh, uh, no, sir. Not yet, but Idiot. I told you to stay off the radio. This was important. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chief, you have a weird voice. Uh, like our rookie detective win. 
What? You think my voice is weird? Oh, wait, that's different. <laughs> what? <laughs> you think his voice is weird? <laughs> what? You see my baby over there? <laughs> <laughs> I heard he was on the lamb. Or, I heard she was on the lamb. Sorry, the mouse cursor was over the S, so I couldn't repeat that. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Man, the police department detectives are idiots. <laughs> Detective? Get my baby. No, get my baby away from Point X. <laughs> They're just arguing. <laughs> <laughs> do it now, man. Do it now, man. Then hold on to her. Yes, sir. I'll get her to do her now, sir. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> idiot. 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 <laughs> Let's start driving in the- He's on the move! There isn't much time left. We have to stop him and fast. Otherwise, he's going to crash into the chicken kitchen. Hmm, this is like that game, isn't it? A game of chicken! Sorry, but what's a game of chicken? Ugh, oh, sorry. I better choose my audience more carefully the next time I tell a joke. Never mind that. We have to do something. <sighs> Trick time. You have five seconds before death! Oh. Recline his seat! That'll be a great idea! <laughs> what do you think you're doing?! Oh, uh... I just thought I'd better do something. <laughs> well, hurry up and put the seat back! I can't! It's too heavy! All I can do now is hope this guy has strong ab muscles. <laughs> Does he just instantly die? <laughs> This poor guy! <laughs> we are the worst. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, well... Time's up. Oops, that was my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just really wanted to do that. I get you feel like... Or I get that you felt like you had to do something but that... Well, there really isn't much I can do once the van is moving. We should rethink this. Was there any other path before that? Guess I better rewind time and not recline the seat while he's driving. <laughs> We're the worst. I better hope he's really strong ab muscles. All right. This is ridiculous. Now I'm going to do it. Oh, come on. No, it's fine. I just wanted to get to the chair because you were too busy laughing to do anything. What the? <laughs> All the police detectives have weird voices. <laughs> Don't recline the seat yet. Fine. We, we wait till the binoculars get on and then we knock them. Can't he figure out how to recline the seat back up before he crashes? It should be his own problem. <laughs> okay, now you trick it. Now you trick it. <laughs> and now you trick again. Okay, now you make the light go. And then possess them with binoculars. Duh! That scared me. Whoop <laughs> doo! I've got the snow walk animation. <laughs> it's just a flashing police light. It's not that important. Huh? What are these doing here? There we go. They're taking a stroll through the park, yeah. The leaflet. Hey, Bailey. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's this chick. <laughs> yeah. Rinage? Ringe. Detective Ringe, this is memory. What's the matter? He's not. T it's not time for your regular report. Listen to this. There's a suspicious couple in the bar upstairs. I'm going to put a ladybug on them. A ladybug? You mean a listening device? Don't do anything to blow our cover. Inspector Cabanello will be furious. But they're doing all kinds of suspicious whispering. We have to find out what they're saying. You can pick up the signal from your van. Check out their conversation for me, would you? All right, fine. Once you get going, once you get going on something, I know there's no stopping you. Thanks. Later then. Hold on. Did you see a customer coming now? A young woman with red hair and red boots. Oh yeah, that restless, suspicious chick. Sure. Suspicious. I mean, come on. As soon as she sat down, she ordered three water glasses in a row. And she spilled the second glass on the table. Okay, fine. Keep your eye on her, too, if you would. You got it. Oh, wow, that waitress was an undercover agent! And she apparently thought you were pretty suspicious, too. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was really thirsty. So, you know. <laughs> um, no. I don't know. I do know. 
Anyway, did you hear what I've heard about the listening device? I know too. I, okay, most people like just drink water all throughout the day. For me, there's like two, maybe three times in a day where I'll drink water and I'll just be like just no, chug down. Like I don't do that. However, <laughs> if I go to a restaurant, I will need a refill of water by the time they bring out like the "Are you ready to order your food?" Like they bring out the drinks and then they'll. Like, that happens usually the same time. So the span of Marty getting her drink and the like the wait just like five seconds while you're being like, "You guys ready?" to order she's just like, <laughs> no usually they'll be like we'll give you a little bit more time and then like in the span of them giving us more time and then coming back to take our order i will have drank the entire cup i i like the idea of the five second period you just <laughs> <laughs> are you the water that's the sound of marty drinking water <laughs> <laughs> that is not no. the sound of drinking water we have to do something about the bug so should we stay here or follow up on the waitress looks like it's time to make a decision Go there. I, okay, I know that if we don't move, that that's what we should do, but I want to go. I want to You think more. we have to stay here? Okay, go there then. I think we have to stay here. Because now we're in the prime position with the binoculars, but it could be different. I just want to learn more. Trace complete. You got a new phone number, MKG1043. Hey, look where we are! The heart of the chicken kitchen, eh? Yep, or as most people say, the kitchen. I hope the key to preventing that accident is here somewhere. Oh, I bet it will be. You know what they say. Where there's smoke and chicken, there's fire. Hmm, now that you mention it, it is pretty smoky in here. Fate changed! How fancy! So she's putting the ladybug on that chicken. Scrunch and stretch. <laughs> I like the sound of this. Oh, nobody mind the t-shirt moving by itself. <laughs> hey, look what she's doing. Do you think that could be... Yeah, she's probably planting the ladybug. Now that I think about it, it's this waitress's meddling that starts the whole chain of events. That detective would have, or wouldn't have gotten his ears blown out and wouldn't have crashed. In other words, we're witnessing it with our own eyes. The cause of a huge disaster slowly being planted in a chicken. Hey, I just had a good idea. About what to do about the ladybug? No, I was thinking we could let her get crushed under the chicken instead of me. I can't tell if you're kidding. At any rate, now that we've seen the root cause of the accident... And all we have to do now is think of a way to take care of it. <laughs> the chef's hat. smoky in here. It's our kitchen! <laughs> yeah, stay on the chef's hat. <laughs> Watch what he does. So she pulled the switch to make the smoke clear. No, just keep waiting on the chef's hat. <laughs> Something cool happens. Yep. What? He just tilted his hat, hat down. Now you can reach the pedals below. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> hey, what's up with this lazy Susan? It's acting up today. Maybe it's out of sorts because it was I was spinning around on it yesterday. Interesting thing for to do for a lady her age. Maybe it's out of sorts. How about thinking maybe it might be broken? But it really isn't broken. It's just us ghosts. What are you doing? Can't you tell? I thought I'd give it a little spin. Oh, I get it. You're trying to get her in the get in the way of her planting that ladybug. Get in there! But it just seems to be making her all the more determined. I guess this isn't going to work. All right, can you figure out what to do? <laughs> Also, if you notice what the chef does with it, <laughs> when his hat goes down, he like does a back step. So there's there's a, like a bottle of sauce uh -huh. under his hat. Uh huh. The hat goes down. He pours the sauce into the chicken and it spills onto the stove and it's like a, oh. it's like a flambe. It's it's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, go down to the pedals now. Don't operate them, though. It is done. All right, wait. Kind of see what we're going to do? A little bit. It's smoky in here. Swap it. Yeah, that's what I... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, now I see it, yeah. yeah. There, all set. About time. This lady's ringing the bell like 800 times. I need to give her water. <laughs> or maybe that already happened. There, how about that? The ladybug is still sitting on the table. We did it. Unless if the chef's singing gets in the way. Ew. La la la, chicken. <laughs> thou art so beautiful, <laughs> chicken. He's gonna listen and he's gonna be like, what the hell? He pissed it. <laughs> I took a bite, my heart <laughs> swelled with pride, and I got goosebumps. What the heck is this? I'm consumed with the love of consuming you, <laughs> me, da da da. What the heck is this? Fate averted. <laughs> See how convoluted that one was? That was great. We have to possess two different people. Well, it looks like you've escaped the fate of being hammered by your horrible hen. Yes, but I still haven't escaped the worst darkness of this terrible night. I... I shot you, didn't I? There must have been some sort of complicated set of circumstances that made you do it. It's never okay to shoot a person, no matter what the circumstances. Hey, shouldn't that be my line? But anyway, you were investigating a case, and I was supposed to give you information on that case. Maybe it's time you told me about it. Tell me about the case you're looking into. Yes, I guess I should. But let's go back to the new present first. Okay, sure. Back in the new present, the delicious aroma of chicken fills the air. But I'm still thinking about Lynn. I wonder if she's still waiting for her chicken to be served. I decided to go see her. See her and ask her the questions that were still consuming me. Trick time! <laughs> I love the chicken kitchen music. Then again, I've said it before, there's no bad music in this game. Wait for the chefs! Beam, da -da -da. Ooh, yeah, use the phone. I'm Jennifer! <laughs> Go back to the junkyard. <laughs> That's not the junkyard, Marty. <laughs> we weren't gonna go to the junkyard. I want to see if Ray had something to say. <laughs> yeah, can we can see if he has something to say. We just we just saved Lynn from being flattened by a chicken. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> it's playing <laughs> Ray's music. <laughs> the disastrous accident that it has been completely erased. Once again, I've saved the redheaded detective from death. Saved Lynn, the criminal who stole my life. One question in particular hangs heavy on my mind. Why did she shoot me? Until I know the answer, I'll never be satisfied. Lynn, I can't believe we're on a date! This is so great! <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Lynn's appetite is apparently foremost in her mind. A golden brown chicken sits on the table in front of her. Until she eats the whole thing, she'll probably never be satisfied. You can order a whole chicken at the ki chicken kitchen and eat the whole thing. It's like going to bowl. It's like going to Bojangles and ordering, like, their fried turkey for Thanksgiving also, and eating the whole go, thing. Also, we need to go back to the luxurious parlor and see how the ladies' novel's going. That's not the luxurious parlor. That's, oh, that's uh, the ladies' the, apartment. The ladies' apartment, right. Ah, there you are again. It's getting late. How are things progressing? I saw the person who shot me. I saw the whole thing with my own eyes. Well, well, that is a big step forward by the sound of it. Forward, huh? Doesn't feel like it. Here, let me share something with you. What's that? The truth is sometimes hidden in the shadow of what's being looked at and can't be seen properly. Don't forget that. The shadow of what's being looked at, huh? I'll remember that. Yeah, we're going. We're going. To the the ladies. ladies' okay. We're going back. I'm pretty sure it's. Unless it's like, and now she moved on from the prime. I want to see. 
I'm so invested. Oh, hey! <laughs> Doesn't look like the novelist intends to sleep tonight. She'll complete her tale of love, even if she has to type her fingers to the bone. Something seems to be missing from this bed. I don't see the bag of ice the little girl had on her feverish forehead. Hmm. She's not here. Did she go to the powder room? Is she out having a good time on the town? I'd better be going myself. Aww. I knew- I told you that you can't do anything with the phone and- But I learned something. I mean, that's true. Oh, you can go to the park. You've chosen Oscar in the park! If you're ready to go, click on uh, the go Can button. we go anywhere if we go back to the ch chicken kitchen? Yeah. Okay. Choo -choo -choo. <laughs> oh, also, I want to see. Are, be are Beauty and Dandy still around? Trick time! Oh, Fop Bubble first. <laughs> Lynn is just going to town on that! Is Lynn having a serious talk with that detective? Nah, she's just gobbling down chicken. How did the detectives know to stake out this restaurant tonight? I'd better see if I can get some information. But more importantly, I have lots of questions for that lady detective. Let's ring somebody else's bell. Cool. I want to see. Oh, yep, they're having a pleasant chat. She's talking to the other detective quietly while she stuffs her face. But I'm too far away to hear what she's saying. I better get closer. Oh, I didn't know you were here, Detective Rinich. Ringe. Ringe. Come to see me, did you? Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, hi, Memory. Don't mind us. Just pretend we're not here. Why don't you try some chicken while you're here? No thanks. Just watching Lynn eat is quite enough for me. So, how to turn out with my ladybug? Oh, that listening device? Well, let's see. I thought the gentleman had a very nice singing voice. Sorry, but we're in the middle of an important talk. Can you- could you leave us to it? But you guys are the ones who call me over. Mmm. Odd girl. I agree. Me too. <laughs> She didn't do it. <laughs> Remember ring three times for water, Marty? <laughs> <sighs> I hate ringing three times for water. It's so hard to push the button wait, on wait. the screen. And then there was new in dialogue. Oh, there was? Shoot. Did you guys want chicken or not? No, oh. we didn't. Oh, okay, sorry. Sorry. Wait, wait, is that you, Sissel? There's a good detective. She figured it out. If you're coming over here, don't forget, you have to ring the bell three times. Um, what are you talking about? Never mind, it's not important. Yeah, pay no attention to us, we're not even here. I'll make you notice me someday, detective, you'll see. Odd girl. <laughs> I agree. Me too. <laughs> okay. Poor memory. One, two, three. Thank you. Sorry, I can't remember anything. <laughs> Apparently. Did you decide you want some chicken or me after all? We didn't call you. Sorry, but could you give us some privacy? No, stay right here. Huh? I'm at a crucial moment with this chicken here. I need you to pour me some water if it starts going down wrong. Lynn, you don't have to risk your life over chicken, you know. He's right. Look at her attacking that thing. Anyway, I'd better move now while I have the chance. Trick time. Hmm, that's funny. Even though I just saved that detective, he doesn't have a core. Not like the one Lin has or that valiant little doggy missile. I thought the ones I save are supposed to develop a core when they're alive again. I guess I still have other things to learn about these powers of the dead. Maybe he has powers of the dead. <laughs> detective Ringe is behind it all. Well, I'm heading back. Lots of things to do, you know. Yeah, like washing dishes and planting bugs. Someday I'll plant a big one on you, detective. Odd girl. I agree. Me too. <laughs> Listen, Lynn. You explained your side and I understand. But there's an APB on, out on you. Uh, out on you. I'm from Canada. <laughs> Can't you at least hurry up and get out of here? You know, slip away quietly? 
No can do. I'm meeting somebody here. Meeting somebody? Oh, yeah, that's right. The little lady, Camilla. Yeah. But why do you have to meet somebody here? The special investigation unit is watching this restaurant. Now, how can that be a coincidence? I don't know, but it is a coincidence. Hey, is it true what they say? That you're... Still looking into Detective Jout's case on your own? Inspector Cabanella is worried about you, you know. I understand how you feel, but... Wait, look at how big that piece of chicken is as compared to her face. Oh my gosh! <laughs> how do you put that in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> That's like Kirby level. It's like Arthur eating cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I understand how you feel, but just don't do anything it, crazy, okay? It's like Cookie like, Monster eating Chibi Robo. <laughs> no <laughs> one is going to get that reference! I know, I'm just saying that to you. <laughs> Trick time. Do not rain for water again. <laughs> we already examined the sign. Yeah, fine. So, how's that chicken you've been waiting for so long? It's so great! But, you know, with Detective Ringe, that's his name, by the way, sitting right across from me, I mean, he was just dead a few moments ago, right? That kind of takes the edge off my appetite. Oh, brother. But he's a great guy. He understands my situation, he said. He's going to give me a pass just for tonight. Speaking of Detective Ringe, I noticed something strange. He doesn't have a core now. He doesn't? I thought a core was supposed to show up once I saved somebody. Hmm, I wonder if... When you possess his corpse, he was unconscious, right? Unconscious? Yeah, he was, wasn't he? Just like you, you were unconscious the first time I saved you, too. And after I saved you, you didn't have a core either. So for people who are unconscious when you save them, no core shows up. I think that's probably what it is. You might be right. Okay, I'll leave Ringe to you then. But I've still got lots of questions for you. Yeah, I thought you would. So here's my question. Let's say she's in the middle of eating chicken and Sissel's just like, Hey, what's up? Does, like, time stop? Yes. And then, like, all yes. of this happens? Okay. Because you're in the ghost world when this happens. No time passes when you're in the ghost world. Okay. Let's get started, then. Death Row Inmate Jowd. What's your connection to Prisoner D99, Detective Jowd? He seems like more than just a co-worker. Yeah, I suppose you have the right to know. Detective Jowd is my hero. Hero, huh? You don't hear that word much anymore. Well, it's an old-fashioned heroic kind of story. It happened ten years ago. Now just calm down and drop that weapon! S stay back! If you come any closer, I'll shoot her! Must be in the park. On that day ten years ago, I was playing in my favorite park. And then, suddenly, somebody grabbed my arm from behind. I was so scared, I thought I was going to die. And then? He appeared. Detective Jowd. And then there was that really loud sound. I think it was the sound of a gun. I passed out. When I came to... You're alright now. Are you hurt? Y you saved me, mister? I was just doing my job. The gods, they're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. He sounds an awful lot, and I mean, maybe it's just your voicing. He sounds an awful lot like Mr. Lamp. Who bops oh, around. Ray, I might have to change that. No, that's fine. <laughs> I, I just figured, oh, make him the masculine voice. Well, make him sound like Zeus. <laughs> I don't know, not Zeus! Zeus. <laughs> I need more Thunderbolts! <laughs> I'll, I'll think of something. To it's get fine, no, it's cool, it's cool. So that's why you became a detective, huh? That's right. He was my ideal of what a detective was all about. But an ideal detective doesn't shoot and kill his own wife. Exactly. And that's why I want to prove that he didn't. Detective Ringe works for the Special Investigation Unit. He said an important deal is set to go down here tonight at the restaurant. A deal that could affect the future of our nation. A nation isn't something that's easily influenced, though. But that's what he said. Anyway, it's that couple at the table upstairs. 
you know, the, the, the blue ones. ones. Blue. <laughs> Literally, they are, their skin is blue, not like they're wearing blue. I heard they're foreigners. They're waiting for the other party in this deal to show up. Now. Oh, I get it. You see people with blue skin and you assume they're from a different <laughs> country. Now that's kind of racist. To be fair, they do look like they hopped right out of Avatar. Blue people Avatar, yeah. yeah. Not Avatar The Last Airbender. They must be waterbenders. <laughs> Ooh, no. No comment. Those two, huh? They certainly are an odd pair. Is this other party they're waiting for me? It's kind of hard to imagine, isn't it? Nobody really knows any of the details of the deal except for one person. <sighs> Mr. Breezy Dancer in a white suit. I just want to listen to this music for a second. I think it's really good. It's groovy, baby. Is that the voice I gave him? I think that's the yeah. voice that I gave him. They say he's been watching the movements of those two for a long time. I've never seen him work so frantically on an investigation before. Inspector Cabanella, eh? Apparently you're a real favorite of his. A favorite? Yes, well, there's a reason for that. Probably we you're... dated. <laughs> and what's that? Probably we dated- No, I didn't want to select this one! Oh, oh, you can fast forward. Okay, I didn't realize that we started back to the top one. <laughs> Inspector Cabanella and Detective Jowd were good friends. Yeah, I think I remember the police guard saying something about that. They joined the detective division the same day. <laughs> Notice the coat Jowd is wearing. Yep, it's <laughs> green. They're two very different types, but they were always in friendly competition to be the best. No objection. Detective Jowd was always very particular about the thorough investigation of the crime scene. <laughs> Indeed. And Mr. Cabanella, well, I guess he just had a natural genius for investigating. I thought she was just gonna be like, he just danced around like a moron. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, those two led the de detective division in those days. But Inspector Cabanella is different now. He changed a little. For example, he took up disco dancing. <laughs> <laughs> he changed? Yeah, he started sliding down stairs weirdly and... No, that's the pigeon guy. Oh yeah, he, he started dances dancing down the stairs. Down the stairs. <laughs> Ever since the Detective Jowd incident... Now he distances himself from the field work. And he's starting to fo focus on nothing more than moving up the ladder. Hmm. So that's how he became the head of the special investigation unit, I take it. Anyway, Inspector Cabanella took me under his wing. Because you were the little girl his good friend had saved, huh? He really looked out for me. Helping me study for my detective's exam. Fudging my exam scores for me! Uh, that goes a little beyond the scope of looking out for you. Inspector Cabanella, eh? I wonder what role he plays in everything that's happening tonight. The important part. Sure is taking Camilla long enough. She should have been here by now. I'm getting really worried. You two are like sisters, aren't you? That's what Camilla said. Yep, that just about sums it up. It doesn't look like being worried affected your appetite much, though. Hey, the bigger the crisis, the more girls gotta eat. Not really. Especially when the pieces of chicken are bigger than your face. <laughs> I'm more the opposite. If I'm stressed, I, like, won't eat. Like, I just, I, I will have so many nerves in my stomach that, like, I won't be hungry. And then as soon as the crisis is done, I'm just like, and, like I have eat to exactly eat. the same amount regardless of if I'm stressed or not. That's because A you lot. are super emotional. But, no, whenever I've done, okay. I don't show my emotion. That's sure. Strange. Whenever I've done, like, a show... Or whenever I'm under, like, super amount of stress, but specifically shows. It'll be, like, tech week, a show, and I just won't eat much the entire week. I'll have, like, a meal a day. And then by the end of it, I'll just, like, completely die and crash. Ugh, anyway, I have to make sure Camilla stays safe no matter what. Camilla, and that music box, too. Music box? Oh, yeah, that wooden box. That box was a present from Detective Jowd. From Detective Jowd? It makes me- okay, every time I say Detective Jowd, I make me- it makes me think of Admiral Zhao. <laughs> oh, yeah. Admiral Choop! <laughs> <You're a brat. laughs> wow. Anyways. <laughs> yes, that was five years ago. The box arrived three days after the murder incident. He must have sent it just before he was arrested. Arrest. <laughs> he was arrest. I am become arrest. <laughs> I am sorry. 
Someday when the case is over and everything's settled, I want you to give this to a certain person, he said. So what's inside? I don't know. I can't open it. Hmm. That's a shame. Sh Sissel, I... Did I really shoot you? Where did that come from out of the blue? I really don't remember. I tried and tried, but I just can't. Now I finally understand how you must feel. And how hard it is to have your memory gone and your story erased. But who knows? Knowing the truth might be even harder. And I'd rather believe there's hope myself. That was great. I was expecting her to put her feet up on the table, honestly. Yeah. Do I have chicken on my face? You're staring. Will you go out with me? <laughs> I bet you're thinking about how impressed you are of the way I took care of that chicken. Just tell me one thing. This case you say you're looking into, is it Detective Jowd's? What if it was? I... I can't keep it from you. It's too cruel. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, Lynn. It's... it's tonight. Detective Jowd's... you know. It's tonight. His execution. But there's still time. I looked into it and I found out all the executions in this country are carried out at dawn. That may be the norm, but not this time, I'm afraid. What?! The execution is set for 11 p.m. Currently it's like 10.53. What did you say?! It's going to happen pretty soon. Isn't there anything we can do to stop it?! Of course not! It's too late now. Not without a stay of execution from the Justice Minister. I'm going to see him then. What? See who?! Who else? The Justice Minister! Don't be ridiculous! There's not enough time! I'm going! Sizzle! Me? Get to the prison! Stop that execution! Easy enough for you to say. Detective Ringe, I'll be going now. Okay, I'll, I'll let you go this time. I'll tell him I was distracted because I was eating chicken. Is there anything else I could do? Could you find Camilla? She's supposed to be on her way here. Oh, your little Camilla? Okay, you got it. I'll look for her. Okay, you know what to do, Sissel. You have to save Detective Jowd, and thankfully this guy doesn't think it's weird that I'm talking to Sissel at all. He's just like, whatever. He's like, oh man, I can't wait to go on a date with Lynn. <laughs> the life of yet another person I'm connected to somehow is about to end tonight. Could it be a coincidence? Or is there something more behind it all? Detective Jowd is destined to be ex executed tonight. I don't know if that fate is the wrong one for him or the right one, but I've decided to go to the prison anyway. Yay, at last we get to the be to be continued. Because this has been a long episode. But it's been so fun! It has been and fun. I've been wanting to see Camilla for like three episodes. I will say, so thanks for watching everyone. I will say, it's either next chapter or the one after that is the has the most annoying puzzle in the game. Like, That's great. Every, everyone is like, oh yeah, this game is amazing. I hated that part of the game though. It's fine. So I might, I I, I'll be there to, to help you. Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.